where we're at. This is a Solanum, and this particular species gets a bright yellow fruit about this big. But what's most interesting about the fruit, and while it's yellow and you cook it, you can eat it. The green fruit, of which there's none on this particular plant, is particularly poisonous and you can't eat it. And the poison that is present in this particular plant is the same poison that's present in a green potato, the, the shoot on a green potato. Now this is a bit of information that you may or may not know, but when you leave your potatoes in the vegetable basket at home and they start growing on their own after a few days, they get that little green shoot on the top. That there is very poisonous. You can't eat that green shoot and please don't eat it. Um, but that poison that's in your potato, in your vegetable basket, in your house all over the world is the same poison that the green fruit of this particular plant and, uh, and has a nasty effect, as far as I understand it, on your heart's ability to pump well. And so that is what this is. The Solanum panduriformi, or the, as we call it in the local language here, the Gif apple key, which means the poison apple. And that's because the green fruit looks very similar to a green apple. I'm going to see if I can find you one over here. It's a fairly common plant around this time of the year. Something that is not poisonous is this little flower here and one of my favorites. This is the comelina. Now I have got a bit of a handshake so excuse this going crazy. I'm trying my best to try and hold the plant as still as I can. This is the blue comelina and just have a look at how exquisitely detailed that flower is. Now in this particular case you can imagine that the bright yellow male parts of the flower are all covered in pollen. And that bright yellow on blue background is what attracts the insects to it. And what will happen then is the insects come along and get dusted by the pollen on those, on those yellow parts of the flower. They then go and visit another flower and these two spikes, I'm going to see if I can get my hand out of the way, these two here, that one there and that one there, are the female parts of the flower and as the insect goes from one plant to another they will dust off their pollen on those female parts of the flower. Now a pollen grain, one pollen grain which will be tiny tiny microscopic almost, will travel down this tube, I'm going to turn it slightly sideways and you can see this, will travel down this tube into the middle of this flower and will pollinate the ovary and then a seed will form. Isn't that amazing? Just look at the detail on that. Flowering plants, of course, one of the more modern of the plants, they, them and grasses are where plants have evolved too. Very, very cool there. Eh? And now that I've picked this plant and it's obviously going to die, the best thing is to utilize it and so they make quite a nice salad as well, so I don't want to waste some breakfast salad this morning.